The conflict between Prigozhin and the Kremlin is intensifying. Gerasimov's appointment as theatre commander likely advances two Kremlin efforts, an attempt to improve Russian command and control for a decisive military effort in 2023. But Gerasimov is highly unlikely to successfully meet Putin's unrealistic expectations for his performance. About it informs Institute for the Study of War, ISW. According to the Institute, Putin has not abandoned his maximalist war aims in Ukraine. Gerasimov, who approved and did not push back on Russia's disastrous February 2022 war plan, is likely to begin resisting Putin now. Putin may alternatively perceive the threat of further Ukrainian counter-offensive operations in 2023 and intend for Gerasimov to strengthen Russian forces against these likely attacks. The Russian defense industrial base's inability to address munitions shortages will likely hinder the ability of Russian forces to sustain offensive operations in eastern Ukraine in 2023. Russian sources are increasingly also acknowledging that Russia's ammunition and supply shortages are decisively impeding the ability of Russian forces forces to advance. Russian forces have not yet captured Solidar, despite numerous claims from Russian sources, the ISW wrote on its website. The institute says that Putin reportedly issued secret and preemptive pardons to Russian convicts fighting with the Wagner group in Ukraine, potentially further empowering Wagner to operate with impunity in the theatre. It is said the appointment could reportedly contribute to two Kremlin efforts, improving Russian command and control for a decisive military effort in 2023 and to strengthen the Russian defensive ministry against calls from Russian military bloggers and security officials. However, the new appointments may also increase the Kremlin's opposition to Yevgeny Prigozhin, head of the Russian Wagner mercenary group. Gerasimov is unlikely to quickly revive the war and carry out reforms to achieve Putin's maximalist goals.